Oh no, Medicaid has messed up again. My doctor that I've had for so long and is the only one who really understands me said if this happened again, he was going to have to drop me as his patient. No, I've been dropped from Medicaid, but my aides are submitting their timesheets tomorrow and they need to get paid. I can't afford to lose a good aide because of these constant errors. And I, I, I knew I shouldn't have gone back to work. This is I make too much money, but uh, and I uh, and I cannot get my Medicaid benefits. Uh, that can't be right. Without Medicaid, I'm going to lose everything. Man, I just got noticed that I make too much money to be on Medicaid. I can't even afford anything. Hardly at all. This can't be right. I need those benefits. Without it, I'm not going to survive. Why does this keep happening to me? This says I'm approved and denied. Mine says I didn't complete my application, but I've been on Medicaid for eight years. Okay, mine says I'm on a qualified health plan, but not on Health First Colorado. So, is this good or bad? Apparently, I make too much money. And I can tell you that is not true. They're saying that they're about to terminate my benefits. I don't understand. I, I don't, don't understand, understand this notice! If you've ever gotten a notice from Medicaid, you know exactly how they feel. You start to imagine all the horrible things that could happen. You hyperventilate, cry, panic, and generally freak out. Don't do that. Relax. Take a breath and file an appeal. Filing an appeal is much easier than you think. It is certainly less stressful than letting your imagination run wild about all that might happen. A good friend of ours at Colorado Legal Services has an easy saying to remember. Appeal first, think second. Appeal first, think second. That's great advice because before you even open that letter, the clock is ticking. So, now that you've taken a moment to relax, we'll go through the basics of filing an appeal.